Okay, I'm gonna show you um, how to mount the new Evo X 800.4 amplifier on a 2014 and up Harley Davidson Road Glide. I'm gonna show you on RAVS 2020. This is a 2020 uh, Road Glide. So I caught some flack from some of you guys on my last video on the other Road Glide when I showed you how to use the Rockford kit to install it. You guys were complaining that the Rockford kit's too expensive at 199. I want you guys to understand we don't even sell over the counter. I'm not trying to sell you the kit. I was just showing people what's available to make the installation simpler. So that prompted me to make this video so I can show you guys how to do the install using the minimal amount of parts. You could try and do it yourself. And then uh, some of my followers brought it to my attention that you can get a Sky High audio kit for around $29, oxygen free, eight gauge kit, copper that works. And also New Concepts offers a kit for $30. Uh, 8 gauge kit, OFC copper, just make sure, I really don't care what wiring you use, just make sure it's high quality, oxygen free copper, that way it doesn't oxidize, you get the most current, um, and the amplifier can perform to its best. So we're going to do this, and here at the shop we only use stinger wiring anyway. So we're going to do this using no bracket, we're going to show you how to mount it to the factory bracket, so you don't have to spend any money on an amp mounting kit and then you can use whatever wiring kit of your choice. So if you're changing the radio, let's say you're doing the Sony 7000 and you don't need the harness that comes with the Rockford kit. And so I'm gonna show you how to do it for the price of the Sony radio, a 30 gauge uh, amplifier wiring kit, and just a little bit of labor to mount the amplifier and four screws. So uh, check it out. You're gonna need a 3 16th drill bit. You're gonna have to use uh, amplifiers as a template we use the long nose pattern marker to mark the holes and four of the 632 machine screws check it out it's nice and simple okay we already have our amplifier installed but we went and grabbed another one from the stock room just to show you how to do it so what you want to do is you want to lay the amplifier down on the factory radio bracket make sure the bottom of the amplifier is lined up with this flat part of the bracket. Make sure it's centered. Then you want to go in with your pattern marker. Mark there, 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 and there. The reason we chose 832 screws is it fits through the foot of the amplifier without having to open up this hole. You don't want to open up that hole too much because there's not much material there and you don't want the leg of the amplifier breaking off. Obviously, I'd pre drill these holes, so I'm just opening them up now. I started with a smaller drill bit, and now I just moved up to the larger drill bit. Now you line the amplifier up, upside down obviously, or else the screws aren't gonna reach. Then you can drop in your machine screws. put the I like to use flange nuts that way I don't have to use Loctite and I don't have to worry about them backing out You can clearly see by the sticker, 800.4, firmly mounted under the factory radio bracket. And that's it. So cost um, $3 in screws, $3 in nuts. If you buy a 50 pack, uh, no amplifier bracket purchase, you can use your $39 oxygen free copper wiring kit. 
And then um, if you're using stock radio, I absolutely recommend a flash and some sort of DSP. We're using a DSR-1 in this one, and you're good to go. Hopefully this helps. Talk to you guys later. There's a brand new GTS radio, and it drops right in. Perfect fit.